Uh, first one, I didn't want to just throw you into the wolves. I, I, I wrote all the statements for you and see if you can come up with the reasons here for me. And I want to show you how much unit two was so important to us. All right, how much unit two? I don't know if you guys have your, good, look at you guys getting them out already. If you guys have your fact sheet from that you ripped off from the test, you might want that in front of you, because these are going to be used again today. Okay, those will be used again today. And again, keep using them, but again, I can't give them to you on the quiz on Tuesday. All right, let's roll. So what was I given on this first one? A parallel to B. Uh, how am I going to have you guys mark lines are parallel? On the diagram, lines are parallel. How am I going to mark them? Jackson. Arrows, yep. So A, parallel to B. I can throw a set of arrows on those. And C, parallel to D. Now, if you want, you can, hey, take a look. You can just point them up, point them down. You can put double arrows on those if you want, just as long as you know which lines are parallel. And I'm trying to get one congruent to three. I'll let you guys know right off the bat today, the days of our two-step proofs are over. If you find yourself doing a two-step proof, something is wrong. I'm asking one congruent to three. If you look at one and three, they are not alternate interior. They are not corresponding. They're not same, they're not anything, okay? So the days of two-step proofs over. If you find yourself doing a two-step proof, something's up. So I'm gonna help you out with this one. First statement I'm saying, why is three and two supplementary? Look at three and two and what we talked about yesterday. Why in the world would three and two be supplementary? Use some uh, vocab from yesterday. Three and two. What do I got there with three and two? Carter, what do I have there with angle three and two? Wow, you gave me every, ready, right off the bat. Good job. These are same side interior. Everyone see it? Same side. They're interior. They're inside lines A and B. And they're on the same side of transversal D. Great job, Carter. Even though it was a pain yesterday, and I know some of you hated it, this is why it's going to pay off. You already know what to write. It's the justification we wrote yesterday. Parallel lines. Imply. Carter, what type of angles are they? Same side interior angles. And then you got to tell me something about them are supplementary. Good work. Good work. Three and two supplementary because they're same side. Now I'm saying one and two are supplementary. Now I'm going to say one and two are supplementary. Why is that a true fact? One supplementary to two. Use vocabulary for me. Woo, Jackson. Um, you and Adrian today. They are, um, uh, okay, I agree they're interior. Are they on opposite alternate sides of the transversal? No, right? What are they? Are they on the same side or alternate? Same side. So what's that make them? And what do I know about those angles? There are? Yes. So everyone see that one and two are also same side interior. So they're supplementary. So it's going to be the same reason. Parallel lines imply same Side interior angles are supplementary. So why is one and three equal then? Better look on your sheet because it's not going to do anything with parallel lines. I'll give you guys a second to look. Just staring at the screen isn't going to do much work. Look, look. It is something we've used last unit. Look at steps two and three, what you just wrote. You just told me three and two are supplementary, one and two are supplementary. So why would one and three be equal then? What do you got, Emma? Um, supplements of the same angle. There you go. Take a look. Look at what you, look, everyone, just, if you don't follow in there, look at steps two and three. You told me one and three are both supplementary to what? 
What's angles one and three both supplementary to? Angle two. The same angle, aren't they? So from last unit, that makes them congruent. Yep. See why this gets a little tougher now? You gotta use some things from unit two in addition to what I'm showing you now. Before, don't let's not go to the next proof. I do want to make sure we're clear. You could have done this another way. This isn't the only way to do this proof. Real quick, and we're not writing this down, but real quick, uh, what type of angles are one and four? One and four? Alternate. So what do I know about them? Ready, guys? One is congruent to four, isn't it? Because they're alternate interior. What do you know about three and four? Oh, what what type of angles are they? Corresponding. corresponding. What do I know about corresponding angles? Look at those two. Why are one and three now equal on those two? One's congruent to four. Three's congruent to four. What do I use to say one's congruent to three? From last year. From last year. Last unit. Hasn't been that long. Emma? Ooh, did I say anything or supplements? I'm not in this, not this way I'm doing it, right? I didn't say anything. Romeo? Substitution. Substitution. Another way to do the proof. Okay, so I want you to know when you check answers tonight on homework, and your proof may not match mine, but it might still be correct. Right? Multiple ways of doing the same thing. All right, let's go to two. Ooh, now we're starting from scratch. Now we're going to get a little tougher. So set up your statements, reasons, write in your givens, and mark your diagram. I'll give you guys plenty of time here. You guys have your arrows on your lines for parallel, and you have your congruent angles with arc marks. All right, somehow I need to go to CDF and DFE, though. All right, CDF and DFE, no more two-step proofs. Don't think it's a two-stepper. All right, let's start with the parallel lines. They gave us AD parallel to FB. They want you, find, they want you guys to find another set of congruent angles. Do we see any corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior? Okay, CDF and DFE, parallel lines AD and FB. Do we see any special types of angles that could be congruent or supplementary up there? Again, they gave us parallel lines because they want you to look for those angles. Do we see any angles formed by those two lines? Molly, go ahead. Oh, no, stop, stop, just stop. I don't want you to tell me what they are. Say them again, A, so I make sure I heard this correctly. ADF? ADF and BFD. BFD, good. These two right here. 100% correct. Anybody know what type of angle she just gave us? Romeo. Alternate interior. And what do you know about alternate interior? They are? Okay, there it is. That's why they gave me the parallel line, so we could see that angle ADF and angle DFB were congruent.
what's your reasoning going to be? What did we write yesterday? Because that's what's going to go in here now. Ooh, 20. Addy, you want to give me a good reason here? What type of angles were they again? Alternate. Are, are you tell, here's AD, here's FB. Are they inside or outside? Inside. So they're alternate interior angles. What do you know about them? Okay, so what did we write yesterday if the alternate interior angles were congruent for our justification? Something implies, what, how did we start it off yesterday? Parallel what? Lines imply, what type of angles were they? Alternate interior angles, and what do we know about them? Are congruent. There's my justification I wrote yesterday and continue to write it today. How does that help us get the bigger angles equal now? I got the given angles in blue, the yellow ones that Molly just gave me. What do I do to those two to get to CDF and DFE? Something from last unit. What do I have to do to them? Six. Stella, what do I have to do to these? They're done. There we go. Stop! Don't I need two, quantity, two equal pairs of quantities to add? Do I have them? Where are they? One is where? In the givens. And where's the other one? The alternate interiors. Good. Everyone, we got two pair. Let's add them together. Good job, Stella. Angle CDA added to angle ADF equals angle BFE added to angle DFB. Addition, one thing I promise you, what's never going to change after addition or subtraction is always what step? That's not changing. Substitution. Anything you want to ask? I, I know I know they're not easy, but you got it's it comes with practice. If they give you parallel lines, it's because they want you to find a special type of angle. In this case, it was alternate interior. Okay, one more, then you're uh, on your own with your group. We got plenty of time left. Good. One more today, and then you're on your own. And as you write down these givens, I don't know, is anything catching your eye? Okay, Red. Anybody catch anything catch your eye on when you wrote down the givens? The last unit we talked about over and over and over again. Stella? Bisect. How many angles are getting bisected here? How many? Two. Two, right? Usually that means it's a what then? What type of proof am I going to have here at the end? 
Nice job. Halves of equal quantities, and you're absolutely correct. Two angles are getting bisected, so this is going to be halves of equal quantities. All right. I already warned you that it's not two steps anymore. So we need to do our checklist if we're going to use halves of equal quantities. Ready? Number one, what you're taking half of has to be equal. Do we have that in the givens? You said we're taking half of two angles, right? Did we say those two angles are equal yet? No, we need to, though. All right? If we're going to take half of them, they need to be equal first. So take a look. JEB and EGD, look at the diagram. JEB and EGD. You tell me why they're congruent. So we can write it down. Why are those two angles we're about to take half of equal to each other? What type of angles am I working with? Twos. Aiden, what type of angles are, nope, never mind. You got to catch up from yesterday. Carter, what type of angles are those? The ones we're going to take half of right now. Um, they're uh, same side. Um, same side uh, interior. JEB. Oh, Thank you. They're just corresponding. Good catch. Those are corresponding. So are they equal? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's the first thing you got to tell me. JEB is congruent to EGD. The angles you're going to cut in half better be equal first. Reason. What did we write down yesterday? 2, 4. Romeo, reason? Parallel lines imply that corresponding angles are congruent. Whew. Good work. All right. What I'm, the angles I'm taking half of are equal. I got that. Anybody remember the other thing I needed before I ended the proof? Lisa? What? Tell me. Yeah. Tell me you're taking half the angle now. I'm going to take half of... JEB. And what's that angle going to be called? Half a JEB. Look at your diagram. Half a JEB could be one to two angles, but I'm only concerned about one. Emma? FEB. Why'd you pick that one and not the other one next to it? Darn right. It's in the proof statement. So that's why I chose FEB over JEF. And then tell me the other angle you're taking half of. We're taking half of EGD. And what are we calling that one? Zach? HGD. HGD, the other one in the proof statement. And are we at this point? What type of angle? Yeah, type of angles. Why can I take half of it? It's not halves of equal quantities. Something in the given said you're going to take half of them. Yeah. Definition of bisects, yeah, or of a bisector. What I'm taking half of, are they equal? The angles we're going to take half of, are they equal? Yes, corresponding. Am I showing you I'm taking half of them? Definition of bisects, we're done. That's enough. Now you could say FEB and HGD, the halves are actually equal to each other. only difference between this proof and something I would have given you in unit two, this right here, I just would have plopped in the givens for you. But now you have to tell me why what you're taking half of are actually equal. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys are going to go right to the homework. If you want, raise your hand. If you want me to check over your work, let me know. You can get out your Chromebook and also look on uh, classroom for the answers. Before you start though, this is why, uh, I'm hoping it doesn't burn me that I'm putting the homework answers online. If you guys just write them down, yeah, sure, you're going to get your three points tomorrow. Congratulations. You just wrote down all my work. You know it's not going to benefit you next week on the quiz, though. All right, so hopefully I'm not going to burn myself by giving you guys those answers. But use them to your benefit. Talk to people in your group, too. Talk to people in your group if you're stuck. Call me over. You guys got 10 minutes here.